the first West Coast saves. And then I made it past the duel round. Your voice is so phenomenal. I am obsessed with you. You killed it. And now I'm here in the third round, and I'm so excited. I'm from a really small town in Michigan called Cairo, and they have been my biggest supporters. They have put signs up all over the town. They have my back 100%. I live in an apartment in LA with five other girls. <laughs> it's awesome. They're my best friends. Excited about what's next? I feel like I can't believe I'm here. Every round has been really intense. And then this coming round, five people are going home. So that takes the intensity like up even more. I'm bringing a new side of my music that I hope can kind of leave an impression. So this week I've been working on really reaching for those higher belt notes that don't come as easily for me. I'm gonna go out there and I'm gonna rock the stage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Started humming the funk. I got a Jones in my phone before we know we were singing this melody. Stop the car, pull out the guitar. Halfway to New Orleans, I said, Take me home. Said, Take me home. Could feel the sun about to rise when we realized we had no. To fear, just me and my daddy and a kid named Coke making music that nobody would hear. And then the sun lit up and it split the night, spilling over our jubilee. Oh, 10,000 cars by the side of the road, moving far as the eye can see. Said, Take me home. Said, Take me You did get to borrow Brad's headband, though. That's the that's a good thing. Thank you for that. Um, Brad, let's start with you. You you like this performance? Yeah, I did. I I thought it was really uh, risky, though, and it and it was the type of thing that might have paid off. It seemed like you were way outside your comfort zone, which I can really respect. But I just I don't think it connected completely with the audience, and that's why the score is not higher. Do you guys feel like this overall has been a night of some really risky kind yes. of odd choices, I'm song wise? Floored because yeah. we didn't mentor you guys this time, and right. we didn't have any chance to say don't do that or do this. So it's it's sort of interesting to see when left to your own devices what you do. Right. But. Um, you know, in this case, it's just, it's kind of a shame in that sense that it didn't quite click, maybe. Risk taking is good, but at the same time, you want to find that spot where you yeah. really shine. And I think for a lot of contestants tonight, it's been the case. Luda. It was risky, and I love the energy that you gave. Um, I think that for me, it was the first time you performed, you had a heart. The last time you performed, I feel like you killed it. So you set a bar for me. Right. And this time around, I feel like you didn't have any instruments, and I was, like, focusing 100% on, on the vocals, and I feel like it was a little shaky, and that's the only reason that I voted no. But I, I do still love your energy. I feel like you have a future. You just got to work on those things, and I feel like you can, you can overcome all of adversity, all the adversity. Thank you. 100%. You voted yes. Do you agree? Yeah, okay. 
it wasn't the best song choice, let's be honest. But your energy is so cute and your voice is good, so this is not the end of your career. I want you to walk off this stage with confidence. Thank you so much. All right, Blue Arrow from, Arrow from Kesha, you did not raise the wall, however, and did not make it to the top seven, so we are saying goodbye to you. Give her a big round of applause. West Coast still has a say, but for now, we wish you all the very best. Thank you so Thank much. You. Macy, you still have the lowest score on the leaderboard. You are still in the